101. We are here with Health Services Coordinator Molly Satter. And Molly, we've been talking a lot in these segments about some of the mitigation efforts that we're doing. Right. And a major mit mitigation effort is ma wearing masks. Right. So right. can we talk about a little bit about the proper way to wear masks and right. how exactly, is the, what is the right way? Right. So um, when you put a mask on, you're going to want to make sure that um, you wash your hands before you put your mask on. Um, and then you are gonna make sure that once you put it behind your ears or tie it, that it's um, secure and that it's covering your, your over your nose and um, underneath your chin, um, but you don't want it too tight. So you wanna make sure that you're able to breathe comfortably um, and, and then you are set to go once you have that um, secured properly. Now let's say you're walking down the halls and there's nobody in the hallway. Should you still be wearing a mask? When's the appropriate time to actually take that mask off? Sure. Um, so you should wear a, a cloth face covering anytime you're going to be within or potentially could be within six um, feet of another person. Um, and so, you know, it, you don't really know when you're going down the hall if you could run into someone. So it's always a good idea to just um, keep that on. Um, but uh, just keeping in mind that distance from other people. So maybe uh, once someone gets to their office or in your car, you can feel free to, to remove that. But if you're gonna potentially come close in close contact, you should keep it on. So really just wait until you know for sure that you're going to be away from people and, right. and that's the appropriate time. Right. Awesome. right. Great. Now to get, to get masks, they're mm -hmm. pretty much everywhere. I feel like if you go to any big box store, mm -hmm. um, they've offered them, I think, um, but people are making them. Right, right. Can you talk a little bit yeah. about that? So um, the CDC provides guidance on um, face masks that you can make pretty inexpensively um, out of household items, even like a cloth t-shirt at home. Um, so you can always look at the CDC um, website for that information. Um, people even use things like bandanas, um, just anything that really covers, um, um, securely covers. Um, and keeps secretions in. So really you're protecting others right. um, if from you know uh, expelling the virus. And so if you're keeping your sneezes and your coughs and your you know talking, um, uh, keeping all of that contained behind the mask, that's the whole idea. Absolutely. Um, yep. it just it's another preventative measure measure that you can take for other people as well. Right. So. Right. And that really is primarily uh, the prevention of spreading it, especially if you're someone who's asymptomatic, you might not know that you have it but it's a preventative measure to help others. And at first when coronavirus was just kind of first coming around, it was one of mm -hmm. those things that they didn't think masks. Can you tell us why right. they kind of came um, to? You know, a lot of the, the thought out there on that is that we were in um, such a, a need of um, the PPE sure. um, that that they wanted to reserve that for healthcare providers. But now, you know, they're, they're, it's really, and we've learned more over the last yeah. few months um, to know that it, there, it, there is some preventative um, um, action with wearing it and preventing from spreading to others. So um, so now it is recommended by the CDC um, and we would strongly encourage that for our staff and students. Wonderful, mm -hmm. yeah. And like you said, we can make them and we are right. actually, the Sioux Falls School District is actually taking donations. So if anybody, um, our right. community has been wonderful during this time, we've gotten a lot donated over the, um, right. over the summer um, right. that we've been able to give to some of our staff members and things like that, working yep. directly with the public. So if you yep. are a mask maker and want to donate yep. those to the Sioux Falls School District, those donations can be dropped off at Central Services. Right. Is that correct? Or the, the IPC office? Um, I, either or, okay. um, I think we would accept them at either place and we would make sure to get them with those out to buildings and out to students and staff. So um, I, I did also want to mention that there are some people that um, step masks might not be appropriate for. So children under the age of two, um, if someone is incapacitated or not able to remove the mask sure. um, or readjust it, um, they might not be eligible to, to wear one. So there might be certain situations um, where we understand people can't do that, um, but people who should, could, or could, should. Uh, and if people have questions about masks, who, who should they contact, where right. should they go? Right, um, they can certainly talk to um, their school nurse. Um, they can reach out to their healthcare provider to, ter to determine if it's appropriate for them or their child. Um, but, you know, just reaching out and asking the questions um, if you have them. Sure. Mm -hmm. So, well, masks is a great mitigation that's good for you and not, not only yep. good for you, but also good for the people around you. So thanks for joining us today, yep. Molly. We'll see you guys next time on Healthy Habits 101.